Hello? What the heck is happening? Wait, can you hear me? You hear me? OMG. That was brutal. Oh, why am I talking? I'm like still trying to type to you. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like PTSD over the whole thing. <laughs> Crazy. I've literally been trying to make this broadcast for like an hour now. Please just work. Okay. How are y'all tonight? Hmm. Huh. M&M's for sanity. Yes, I had... Start... I restarted the computer. I kept having an echo. I still don't know why I had an echo. Oh yeah, those are cool. The shock rings. Yes. I'm still autistic. <laughs> okay. And now. I need a liquid power. Okay. And then... I got scissors. All right, so I set up, um, I moved the table. So I don't know if y'all can see that, but if you look over there, you see that hole right there? This, this thing? It's like, I'm in the attic, but there's like more attic in there, if that makes sense. And that's where my table was before. And I had a piece of wood there because I had to build a door. Um, so the cats would stop coming in here and messing stuff up, especially the one cat who will be getting fixed in a couple of weeks. She keeps peeing on everything and I'm like, stop it. All right, are y'all ready? Sorry if it sounded like a comment. Oh, no. I don't understand. What are you sorry for? The pointy pressure. Yeah, those things are cool. Oh, so you got one? All right. So have... I don't know who, who all is on here, but... Hi, TJ. Hi, PF. That's who I can see right now. Oh, the, 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 oh yeah, still autistic. Oh, yeah. Well, either way, I mean, it applied either way. So, have you ever used Crazy Aaron's Thinking Putty? I've used different putties, um, not a whole lot, but the Crazy Aaron ones, they have, like, better reviews, and they have, like, more options, and they're, like, way more expensive. So, what's this? 
get a special little oh i got a sticker celebrating 25 years which is crazy because i literally just heard about them you know who I, I, I heard about uh, Crazy Aaron's from? Um, Mom on the Spectrum. And I am so grateful that I I, I um, decided, I mean, I'd, I'd seen it in the store before, but I, I um, went online I got this from their actual website, not from like Amazon. The other one I got from Walmart. And then I got a different brand from Amazon. Yeah, I want to try the magnetic one. But I've been trying to be a little frugal. I spent $20 plus shipping. Okay, so. Now, if you go on Amazon, the mini tins cost like $4 each, right? I got this many aimed weird can y'all see the artwork for the show in the background ta-da ta-da and then all that too and, but these are the ones I'm working on. Um, and this was the first one. And then, um, I did this one, on, I didn't do it on canvas, so I framed it. This is um, Mike from Autistic After 40. And then I did Neurodivergent. And I used her little symbol. And she's like the Wizard of Oz, uh, Glenda the Good Witch. And on these canvases, like, I do wrap around, so, oh my. Um, oh, before I did that one, I had done this one next. I don't even know if I've shown this one finished yet. Um, and then this is the one I'm currently finishing. Can y'all tell who this is? The clue is the yarn. So this is, um, yes, you're right. It is Claire. So, um, I really love these chrome markers I've been using, but you know how she has the third eye thing? So I like gave her wings. I don't know if that's obvious, but these things that she's holding are supposed to be knitting needles, but it's like, cut. I had like, um, I had these like f little fairy cats. <laughs> and I had one on here, but I hated the way it looked, so I took it off and so I'm gonna redo that and then I need to put her name and then I'm finished with this one the teeth man y'all don't know how many times I, I redid this one okay so
So that's the ones that I have so far. Come on, Bob, work with me. I have Bob Ross over here, his happy little trees. All right. So what we're doing, all right, we're gonna see. I'm so excited. Okay, so this was called the Pride Bundle. And the Pride Bundle is supposed to be like the rainbow. Oh, you're wearing Bob Ross t-shirt? That's cool. So let's see what we have. We have, I'll put it in color, rainbow order. We have Radical Red. I'm trying not to look over to the side at my computer so I can see what I'm seeing. So I put, um, this lamp is great because it's daylight. Oh, geez. Um, but I still don't have the perfect setup, y'all. It's like how to do without blinding oneself okay so i have my phone here recording me through the app over here on the laptop but so i'm not looking appearing as though i'm looking here i put my ipad here with the camera facing me <laughs> I'm a newbie, guys. All right, we got Radical Red. That's the beginning of the rainbow. And then we have Jack O'Lantern. And then we have a neon one. Oh wait. This is this one says it's a mini chrome. The red one. I don't know if y'all can read that, but it says right here it says mini chrome. And then the um jack o' lantern says it's a glowing um lightning rod. So the yellow one's a lightning rod. y'all can read that and it says it's neon lighting is difficult I have the ring light right here but I haven't plugged it in yet I had to move all of the cables and stuff and I don't have a lot of energy still in burnout plus you know um, I still having a vitamin deficiency stuff going on and then plus I am on my monthly TMI sorry <laughs> um, and then this one is uh, avocado but it looks like it has little avocado pieces in it hyper Hyper color glow. True blue. And then this one's called Daydream and it's supposed to be the purple one. It looks like there might be some little sequency stuff in there. And then this one's called Starfish. It looks really glittery, I think. The clear one looks cool. Which clear one? The, you mean the clear, um, the glass one that, that they sell? Not one that I just showed, right? 
I think I know. Yeah, the glass, liquid glass, I think is what it's called. I really, I actually want to get that. I probably have 20 different ones on my wish list on Amazon right now. I had to make a separate wish list just for like, um, stem toys. Yeah, I do take vitamins multiple times a day actually, but I have a malabsorption issue and I, I um, like six months ago I was anemic for, I was anemic for probably a year and they were testing me for, um, narcolepsy because I just kept falling asleep. Like, I'd be mid-sentence talking to someone, and I would have to fast all day at work because if I didn't, I would literally fall asleep if I ate a few bites of food. And they were like, maybe it's um, a, a glucose thing, you know, or they tested me for sleep apnea and narcolepsy and everything, and you know what? It ended up being an iron deficiency and then I started feeling weird again um, a couple months ago. They tested, this doctor tested even more levels. And I'm like vitamin D3 deficient, um, B1, and um, my iron, since they did that testing, is probably low again because it was like going down some. But also they said my pre BM or I don't know, but it's a protein or something. <sighs> yeah. I don't know, but I'm going to open these. Let's see. So they, um, there are metal tins, which I like, and they always come with these little like lid things, which I also like cause it keeps it from spilling out. So yeah, get on the screen. Okay. Hey Google, studio light on. Sure, turning studio on. Mm, does that help? <laughs> I turn the lights on in here. <laughs> and here it is. It actually really does look chromatic. I don't know if y'all can tell, but. So satisfying. Um, the color of this honestly looks like something I want to eat. I like literally want to eat it. I, I don't, it doesn't smell or anything. They do have putties though that have scents. And I bet those are nice. Oh, wow. It's so pretty. Totes recommends that if you love red and you like chrome, I recommend that one. Honestly, though, if you just want to try out some, this set was only $20. I, I spent $26 or $27 with shipping, and that still was cheaper than buying this many individually red matter from the 2009 jj abrams star trek movie oh it's got sparkles Grr, I'm getting really mad. Hold on.
Where is the Mac? Oh. Let me see if I can add video capture device. Mac OS screen capture. Mac OS. Uh, Mac OS video, I guess, I guess we'll see device, uh, FaceTime. Can see the sparkles now. Bzz, bzz. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I'm so sorry. Okay. I'm figuring it out. I'm gonna figure it out. Okay. I should plug this light in. Um, thank you for your cooperation and patience. <laughs> Here at Acme, <laughs> we don't warranty any of our products. When you try to make your cable not tangled, so you like rubber band it all together and you still have tangles. Oh, actually, wow. Impressive. Thanks, past self. I appreciate that. Do you ever thank your past self for doing something that helps your present self? Oh my goodness. Are you gonna work? Are you gonna fit? Can I make it go? Can I make it go? <clears throat> Let's do it. Doing it and doing it and doing it. Oh! Here comes the sun. Do 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 do. Ugh. How do people do this? How do people do this? It's so bright. Okay. Now. One of these cameras is not like the other. Give me you light. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. They want to see the sparkles. Okay, I'm officially impressed with anyone that, that makes good videos at this point. Like, um, seriously. Please stop falling down. And now I have a cord in my view. We're gonna scoot you over right here, buddy. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Why? Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate your business. Oh, is that better? Y'all can see it now? Should I use this camera? Boop. Sparkles. I know it'll help. Get the fingerprints off of the computer. <laughs> Okay, I'll try showing you the red again. All you have to do is blind yourself with extreme sunlight.
excuse my very um chewed up fingers like i have a really horrible um like it hurts it hurts and I, I can't stop it's like um one of my stems and that's why i started with the putty and it's helped and i was using a pacifier at night because when my hands are busy doing art i won't chew on my fingers however if i um i'm just in bed trying to go to sleep that's like the number one time when i'll do it the most um and i will literally do it until i'm bleeding and people have asked why don't you you know you just get manicures and stuff i'm like it, it's it's a couple of things i can't stand any kind of little tiny dry piece of skin or if it's like wrong and then like i also have that like it takes too many steps to find the tool to use but then also i have the problem of if i get the tools out and i start working on it i will become hyper focused and i will like destroy my hands so i have been practicing um I added something to my routine um, when I hate lotion, okay, because, because it feels slimy, but I learned something about that and how to make it not slimy. Let me read what y'all said. The wine is a performance enhancer. What? Hey, Mike. Okay, I'm having troubles here. Okay, so the trick. Oh my God. The tricks are opening this. Is it... Will you please open this for me? <laughs> um. Help. <laughs> I'm gonna have a meltdown runs downstairs and asks for help <laughs> okay yeah lotion is the worst however i live where it's, it's cold all the time and i i came from a humid place and so a hot humid place and so if you put lotion on and then went outside you'd become like a slug i seriously can't open that it hurts i'm about to take a second but I struggled with that my whole life and then I was told when you get out of the shower or the bath you pat yourself off I'm sorry I'm 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 imitating someone and you put the lotion on and it absorbs into your skin because your pores are still open and your skin's moist and it will just absorb and so once you're dry you won't feel it anymore and i i was like for real and i tried it and it's for real <laughs> for real i struggled my whole life and it's for real now I have a problem with anything at all touching my feet, like tiny pieces of dirt and stuff on the floor. So like putting lotion on my feet after the shower, that's an issue. It's more like put all the lotion on and then go sit on the bed after put my clothes on. Then put lots of lotion on feet and then have to put big socks on which is annoying because i don't like the socks but it's the only thing otherwise like my feet get really dry and then they stick to the how come i can't get this open yeah i burnt my eyes okay um um, 
I'm literally gonna have to get someone to help me open this. I'm I'm serious. Mm. Mike, did you see what I did? Ta da! I moved everything. I moved my table and I have my setup over here. Okay. Okay. Um, but. Since yours was the only one on paper, I framed it. And I only have this many left to do. <laughs> oh, well, he. All right, so who's it going to be? When are, are y'all gonna? Good day. I think it's coming. I think it's coming. I think it's coming. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> Retitles this video. Watch as this autistic woman struggles to open a child's tin of putty. <laughs> oh. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Was it worth it? Was it worth it? Was it? What? Bzz, 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 bzz. Oh, can you imagine? So, um, because it's tiny bit got on the the rim right here can you imagine if this wasn't on here it i probably never would have gotten the lid open like look there's barely any on the outside and i, I, was, I was struggling like i think i just got carpal tunnel from that this is the um lightning yellow lightning rod the uh, mini neon. Wow. Come on. <laughs> Artex. Fight the sadness. I won't give up. Oh yeah, it was a little bit around the edge right here. Man. Yay, thank you. Oh. I don't feel like eating this one. The red one made me think of taffy and it kind of looked yummy. Um, but I don't need any more, uh, I don't need any more issues like pica or anything, so. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Can y'all imagine me as an art teacher? Like, I was an art teacher. And um, the kids thought I was funny. The high schoolers, not so much. And they said I was cringy. Oh my god, you see how easy that opened? Do you? Do you say? Oh my gosh. This one is... Avocado. Raise your hand if you like avocados. Hands. You like bright yellow things? I, it depends on what it is for, but clothing wise, I don't look good in bright yellow. I don't think, I like the, like a, like a muted mustard one. This one's like a see-through one. It has little avocado thingies in it. Let me see what they feel like.
So, can you see how you can get obsessed with picking these out? And, um, these are kind of thick. Like, picking these out instead of picking your skin. It's kind of got, like, an iridescent effect on it a little. It's kind of cool. This color reminds me of slime from the Ghostbusters. I actually liked all of the Ghostbuster movies. I except I haven't seen the girl ones yet. Um but back in my day when I was a child I watched all of this all of the old ones including the Dan Aykroyd ones and uh the movies the um all of the uh cartoons they had they had the Ghostbusters they had Slimer and the real Ghostbusters that was fun I got three more hey autistic renegade likes avocados okay I will tell you did you know that avocados were first um, discovered um, and turned into guacamole by a pirate found on an island? Okay, we're going to have another horn one. Oh, oh not so much. Um, and guacamole was originally sweet. Uh, uh, yeah, guacamole. I, I couldn't remember if I said guacamole or avocado. Um, ooh, sparkles! Um... Yeah, I, I love all of that. I, I, I loved Bill M Murphy. Yeah. Um, I just recently found out that Dan Aykroyd is, um, autistic. Oh my gosh. Did y'all know that, um, one of my favorite actors, older actors, like, um, Anthony Hopkins. Do y'all know who that is? He literally just got diagnosed with autism at the age of 70. Bro. Dude, man, bra. Dude, man, bra. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> when kids would try to make fun of me uh, as a teacher... And they're like, bro. And I'm like, it's not bro, it's bruh. And then I'm like, dude. And they're like, dude. Like, make it fun of me. And I'll be like, dude, man, bruh. So obnoxious. Maybe that's why I kept losing my jobs. Um, look how pretty that is. It's like mermaid. That's not what it's called, but my goodness. Oh my goodness. And you know, this stuff doesn't dry out. Also, I don't know how to get it out of your bedding. Because I actually went to sleep with some and a little bit got on the blanket. And I couldn't get it off. But supposedly we have like... A thing that tells you. Bob Dylan, Eminem. Oh, I know about Courtney Love. Oh, I know about her. I used to have like this. <laughs> I used to have like this whole like. Shrine thing. Of Courtney Love and Drew Barrymore. Um, on the back of my dresser. On the back of my dresser. Why? Why would it be on the back of my dresser? Let me show you why. Okay, here's my bedroom when I was in high school. Yes, it's, it's going to be part of my exhibition. It, this is me processing being autistic and reliving memories through an autistic lens. Okay, so I had a bed. Here's the bed right here. I had a nice big bed, but I didn't want to be by the bed because guess what was across? Across the door right so um I put my dresser at the end and you had to go around and I had a pallet over here 
I didn't actually have a mirror here. I just put that there for um, an effect so that I could put like my collage back there. But yeah. Uh, and look here, hole right there. Don't, don't ask me why my Barbies are naked. Just don't. All right. <clears throat> A great color or a terrible color depends on the shade yeah it is pretty uh this opened easily and i'm gonna tell you the daydream makes me think of jellyfish <laughs> i don't know why Intergalactic, intergalactic. I feel like I, I missed some of these. Oh, I was going to tell you how uh, my favorite way to have avocados. Probably not the healthiest way, but if you've ever had boba tea, you know, with the like tapioca pearls in it, they make an avocado smoothie with that. Oh my god, it's the freaking best. Ah, daydream. Okay, I'm gonna tell you this. It's pretty, but it's got prickles. So if you like prickles, it's great. If you don't like prickles, it's not great. And you might spend your entire time. This might be something to use if you're frustrated and or, you know, you just want to, like, pick all the little pieces out and then play with it. But, um, yeah. I think all the tech different textures. It's because the stars that are in it are, like, pokey. They're pretty, but they're pokey. It's the same reason I won't wear sequins or, like, glittery clothes because I like sparkly stuff, but... I hate that texture. I hate it. All right, last one. We have starfish. I'm really hoping that this is glittery and sparkly and pretty and not itchy. Or stabby or uncomfortable. Uh, she was, uh, Courtney Love was Kurt Cobain's wife. Super glitter. It's some chunky glitters in there. I don't think she killed Kurt Cobain. I mean, come on. I think that they had real life struggles and I wasn't there. I don't want to remark, but I don't want to disrespect the dead. And I also don't want to disrespect somebody that, that I like to at the same time, especially how am I going to make like remarks on something like that when I wasn't there? All right, look how cool. So it looks like it's actually clear until it's like so dense with the glitter that it gives it a color, but the actual putty itself appears clear to me. I think it's cool. It's got like a, um, a little bit of a texture but but then if you rub your finger a couple times then it's smooth so yeah i like it yeah so that is the 
pride bundle. And Wait, how many cameras do I have? I don't know what's happening. All I know is that that needs to be on top. There. So here they all are. Do, 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 do. I think, um, I'm not going to load them all up because that's crazy. But honestly, for 20 bucks, I recommend because they're usually $4 each. Also, I couldn't even, I couldn't even find that set on anywhere else except for their actual website. These are going to be fun. Hee hee hee. All right. I'm going to throw this away and I'll be right back. And then we're going to talk about how to fix this painting. Because, oh my God. Oh my God. Can I make this like, um... Desk view. Yeah. But y'all can't see the desk view, can you? coarse and rough and it gets everywhere. I like glitter. They actually make like really fine glitter um, that doesn't feel like fairy. Beep. Can y'all, y'all can't see my desk view, can you? That makes me sad. Well, anyway. This is supposed to be page layout as um Yeah, I don't know. I tried. I don't know why it's like that. Um Yeah, no desk view. Sorry. Um, but this is Paige Lael as the bubblegum princess from Finn and Jake's, um, Adventure Time with Finn and Jake. Back with another one of those block rocking beats. Okay. Are y'all ready? I was thinking I should add Lady Rain of Corn to her. Have have y'all ever seen Adventure Time? Hi Lauren! I love Adventure Time. I've seen all of them. Okay, I'm going to look for Lady Rainicorn. 
Yeah, the reason I did this photo for um, the thing is because I kept taking pictures and it kept telling me, no, you can't use that picture. And I was getting so mad because at first I had like a nice photo for the cover. I was all like, hi, everybody. I'm so happy and nice. But yeah, we didn't end up using that one and I got all frustrated. Um, it was actually going to be daylight when I started this video and then it turned into a whole thing. What was I doing? Oh yeah, Lady Rainicorn. No, I don't want to search tabs. I, I just want a new tab. Thank you. Lady Rainicorn. Hmm. Oh, wow. i never seen her like that before. It's like fan art. Like with legs. It's interesting. Um, <clears throat> Lady Rainagorn. So basically, I just needed to know what her head shape was like because, just, you know, I usually just do something like this and I have like a bunch of little references and I'm like, okay, I'm sorry y'all don't have desk view. This feels dumb without desk view. Have I seen Fiona and Cake? <clears throat> I have not. I have only seen it when they had like a a couple of episodes in the actual like adventure time oh my gosh autistic renegade you need to see adventure time you must you must um hmm Like, I have this little window that's desk view, but I don't know how to stick it in OBS. Oh, I think I know how to do it. I need to add a view. I need to add a source. Source will be a screen capture. Okay. I don't need you to see my whole screen. I just want an application. Uh, this one. Yay! Oh my gosh. I did something. I think. I think. But if I did, where is it? Oh, that's not it. Where is it? No. Yes, I did it! Ah! I'm so excited! Look, I did it! I feel like I deserve a trophy. <laughs> okay, no. I want... Okay, what the heck, guys? Come on. This one. Mm. Why, why is the thing so huge? Like, what is happening? Why? There. Excellent. What? Just, just quit it. No, don't lock it. I'm going to make this one big. Is that going to be weird? Can y'all handle this? If 
if I if I have my little hand over here, <laughs> what the heck? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm so inept, y'all. E. No, grr. Close enough. Ha! Huh. How's that? Is that better? A desk! A desk! <laughs> this desk is cool. It actually opens and it has dolls in it. I have like my ball jointed dolls and stuff in there. Except the desk is covered in stuff. Um, yeah. But I was trying to eliminate that, but I only have so much energy in a day. Okay. Okay. I feel like I'm totally not doing justice to Paige Lael right now because she's really pretty and I feel like I just did not do what I was trying to do. I need to make your face a little better. Which means this comes down more. And your chin is pointier. Like that. We're gonna do it like, actually your face is more straight here. And then it, and then it, and then it does that. does that that is like more accurate of your face shape yes yes and yes and then She has big magic eyes. Try window boo. Yes. Heck yes. Woohoo. Perfection. Superb. Love it. Oh, thank you. It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the holes again. Mm, 
Oh my gosh, y'all ever get songs stuck in your head that you actually don't like and it's like a stem? I hate it so much. And then if you tell somebody what the song is, they start singing it and then you're like really annoyed and then you have to like go away from them. So I'm not telling you what it is. And sometimes my brain like tries to remix songs like don't that don't even go together. I know your nose isn't that wide. Like I don't know what it's, what it's trying to do, but it's just not. It's not. It's not doing that. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Jarud Sandstorm. I don't know what that is. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I have like... You put the lime in the coconut. Stop mixing a song I hate with one that I like. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry, I'm quiet. I should make noise. She looks a little crazy. That's not my intention. Okay, 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 okay. I'm a pagey poo, you need arms. Doopity doo. Dippity doo da, dippity day. I should use real frickin' pain. Plenty of sunshine heading my way. Zippity doo da, zippity a. This is a wet palette. I am surprised that the paint is still freaking wet after like over two months. That's crazy. I love it. It doesn't have the most pleasant smell if you leave it for too long. But this is acrylic and look, it is it is still viable, y'all. It is still viable. Look at that. Comes with its own little lady poo. It has like this um you soak the uh gur you soak the little um, sponge and then they have these little papers that you can replace. You um, soak that for a certain amount of time and then you just put it in there and it just keeps your paint. Keeps it from wasting and drying out. It's amazing. I don't know about that color. I don't know about that color.
Y'all should have seen what this looked like earlier. It was, it was frightening. I am just a poor boy. Nobody loves me. <laughs> so, what's everybody been up to? What's, that's crazy. That's, so I stuck with cereal. Wait, what's happening? I, I miss stuff. Um, you get stuck on my head. Okay. EDM. <laughs> um, I'm laughing, but I don't really know what that means. Sounds like a Neil... I don't know how to say that. CC Rega mashup. Who's that? Um, but I did have a cheese incident earlier today. Was craving quesadillas. <gasps> I want quesadillas. Oh, when cheese is not good. Cereal. <laughs> Cheese Nightmare is the name of my next band. That's funny. Oh, Pagey Poo. I don't know why I thought you needed such large nostrils. At the time, I thought I was doing right by you. But apparently... I am only pretending to be an artist. It's only pretend. What's the song? It's only forever. It's only the end of the world again. Maybe once she has eyelashes, because this girl, she has lashes. She's got those luscious lashes. So, how are we going to do your lashes, girl? How are we going to do them? How are we going to do them? How are we going to do, we gonna do your lashes? How are we going to do your lashes? I was just thinking. Like, do you think the fact that when I was growing up, I drew all over anything I could draw on, like my hands, my clothes, my worksheets, I'd get in trouble for it, that drawing can be a stem. Yeah, she has got profound lashes. If you listen to my vocal stems long enough, you'll you'll realize when I grew up. Mm -hmm. Am I going overboard? Uh, 
lashes. I heard the news today, old boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You doodled in class as a kid overstimulate it to do anything but disassociate and then they try to like fix it by like you only have to do the even or only the odd or like you only have to do this many of each section and I'm like I don't care like you know I remember distinctly in fourth grade my teacher giving me worksheets and, um, you know, like all the little math problems, like in rows, like add these or multiply these or whatever, I would just take all the lines and just connect them all. And then I would put little ladders and elevators and like little people walking around. It was like a building. <laughs> hey, what's up, Mike? I figured out how to capture desk, desk view. <sighs> I'm trying to fix page. Oh, did you get to see your um, picture I framed, Mike? Cheers. Draw, draw, draw. Practice your drawing. I heard the news today, oh boy. The solution to your problem is simple. The only way to get what you want is to become a human yourself. Oh, I just watched... Well, I haven't finished it, I don't think. I think I fell asleep. Which is crazy, because I have been having a really hard time to sleep lately. Um, the new Little Mermaid. But when I was a kid, uh, I definitely stemmed hardcore on that movie, the Disney version. I, uh, watched it every single day and I can, uh, script the entire movie from beginning to end, including the little sounds at the very beginning of the VHS tape. What pick? I moved my desk. Hold, please. Bloop. Okay. I, I moved my desk from over here to over there. And so now I have access to this hole where I can shove things. And now y'all can see my sewing area. Um, but yeah. Here's my stuff that I've, I've done. And and yours was the first one I did. Um, and I had a hard time with the thing that I was using. I, I thought it was like mixed media matte board, but it, I think it was actually matte board. And so I had a really hard time with it when I was doing it. But because it's the only one not on canvas, I just decided to frame it. Mm. 
Mike, he better be listening. You better be looking. You better be looking. Yeah! Woohoo! Only, only one tea left. And that boy hasn't puffed it up once. So, I have, it's the 21st. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Because, 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 because. Um, because. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go over here. Because, um, April 1st is when my show starts. And I have this many more to do. It'll be fine. 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 It is. I almost put the little thing around you. Like the little like yeah it was um you were frozen you were sigmund frozen i don't like that one no thank you come again are you the one Yes, I accept. Oh, y'all can't even see what I'm doing. Sorry. Um, so far I have made a list with little, basically I just copy and paste it like the little, um, uh, thumbnail picture and username and web address for each youtuber um and i put it in a google doc and i'm i'm gonna print it out and just tell people to take a picture of it i think because i don't think i need to like like give people like flyers and stuff you know but the idea is that I want to um originally my solo show came about I just said I you know I wanted to do a show because I'm in this uh, co-op. I wanted to do a show for neurodiversity or unmasking neurodiversity. And instead of getting one show, because they were like, do you want a solo or a group show? I was like, well, I kind of want both. But... They're like, well, you can do both. So I booked both of them. So in November and December is going to be a group showing. Um, I can't remember the exact wording I use, but it's basically like I want it to be all the, you know, different. I wanted to have multiple artists, you know, that from multiple perspectives, different neurotypes etc but this one I originally was going it was going to be about my journey um in my new life unmasking um accepting my neurodivergence and it's kind of like a coming out <laughs> um but it, it's because like I I was I have like even lost my ability to do art. Um, I'm actually uh, an oil painter. Uh, I have an MFA. I'm a supposedly a master 
the fine arts. Over here using Posca paint markers right now because it's all my burnout brain was okay with using. Um, but I just started drawing scenes from this, the, you know, questionnaires and stuff for the evaluation. Like all, all these memories and having to reprocess things. Um, so I started to draw the scenes and process them through my art because I'm very visual um, and I think in video if that makes any sense. I don't know if other people, like, does anyone else think this is fine even? That's fine is always the dog in the... Wait, what is happening? Okay, let me read. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Thank you. Sorry if I sound ditzy, but what's a limerick? Wait, I think I missed something. <laughs> oh, they paddled you? My mom said they weren't allowed to. At my In my elementary, they had to sign permission slip and my mom refused. Thanks, mom. Thanks for not allowing corporal punishment. Uh, but boy, did they try. What's the dark stuff between you and the, the cat? you see it? It says at autistic as f after 40. <laughs> I'm all, uh, <laughs> see? Oh, there. See, because it's, me it's metallic. It's so shiny and it's hard to capture in the light. But can you see it, Mike? Bro, can you see it? Can you see it? Marky Boo, can you see it? Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. Shimmy, shimmy, cocoa puff. Shimmy, shimmy, ah. Uh, if not, you'll have this video forever. He's a swimming in the sea. Swimming in the sea. Oh my key. Swimming in the sea. Okay, I'm done. Is there like a delay? Like y'all are actually really all typing, but uh, it just takes a while for me to see it because I'm going through OBS. I don't, I have no idea. I don't know how, I don't know how anything works. It, I, I just, I just have luck and it happens. I just keep, it's like me with making videos is like me when I was a kid playing Mortal Kombat and my friend said I was a cheater because I was a button smasher. And I said, there's no rule saying I can't button smash. How else am I going to do it? He was just mad because I kept beating him.
I don't know where her arm's going. And that arm looks weird. It's supposed to be like back there. And it just looks like something really wrong happened. I just don't know what to do. Oh my god! Make hand bigger. Arm is fading in the distance. You gotta use foreshortening or it's gonna look really weird. But if you're gonna use foreshortening, then you gotta actually make it shorter. And then you have to make it up higher. And then you have to do these things and you do these things and you do these things and you do them like that. And you do them like that. And then you take another color and you have to make it go splat splat. Bye! And then you wait for it to dry. You have to wait for her amputation to dry before you can put on her prosthetic. <gasps> oh! That's what happened. Y'all were actually talking and I hadn't scrolled back down. I just figured it would jump back down to the bottom. Oops. Oh my God. Y'all said a lot. It's like I'm such a ditz. Okay. I'm so sorry. I thought I was just talking to myself. Oh, 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 oh. oh thanks. Um, okay, it captures you, stream is blocking sign. This is fine, says so the dog in the brain. Huh? Unmasking is very much a coming out. Some of us even lose our families over it. Hear ye, hear ye, misfits of the lands. Come one, come all. Oh yeah, I like was asked if I was ever going to grow up like yesterday or the day before by a family member. And I'm like, what do you mean? And they're like, do you have, like, a room that you go to? Like, not, like, I have a bedroom, but do you have an other room, you know? Like, an attic or basement. Yeah. Talking about, like, my art space. Talking about, talking about I have plushies. Talking about I have special water bottles. Talking about my puppets. Talking about my stuff. Talking about the things I don't care so much. Talking about my pickle cat. Waffle, waffle, waffle. And that I collect so much. Oh my gosh, Mike. Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta show you something that I got. On the Easter Isle. I don't know if you saw it last time. Okay. I'll send, we can see the metallic now. Yay! Uh, outstanding. He saw the Simmers. The Simmers? You mean Shimmers? I think there's about 20 or 30 seconds delay of you seeing the chat. Oh, and you might only have top messages. No, I didn't. I made sure of that. I don't. I saw some ocean videos and this girl was near a whale singing. I don't know... A whale can be heard singing 10,000 miles away. Wow. That's how you win. You gotta smash those buttons. Heck yeah. Ooh, speaking of smashing buttons, give Kaja some love. Yeah, smash my buttons. <laughs> like, subscribe, like, like, subscribe, like, subscribe, like, like, subscribe. And if you're feeling really charitable, share, share. Share, share, share. Care Bear Countdown. Four, three, two, one. Um, okay. Uh, I had to cut my dad out of my life entirely in December. 
Well, my dad decided to cut himself out of my life and then I met him in my 20s and then I had him for 13 years and then he died. So he cut himself out. And I literally cut myself out of everybody's life and I moved all the way across the country. So now it's sad and I miss them and I'll cry sometimes, but at the same time, they can't manipulate me so far away, so far away, so far away. Um, they be jelly because they can't be like us. Oh, that reminds me of a rap song that I made last year. And it goes like this peanut 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 butter and jelly spread it on the bread and put it in my belly a peanut 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 butter and jelly spread it on the bread and put it in my belly that's it okay ready look 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 oh my god hold on all right here it is okay forget this Grr. One second. Look! Spring has spawned! Dude! <laughs> Bro! Now I have my card stuff that I'm working on in here. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Bam. Oh, uh, the uh the Minecraft thing? I got that for $6.98 at Walmart on the Easter aisle. It was like, I guess it's supposed to be like an Easter basket or something. I don't know, but it's freaking cool. I know, like, I love magical stuff. I just like, I just do. Like, I just, I, what's flying around? It's freaking me out, man. Are you a bug? No bugs. No bugs. Hmm? Hmm? I know they're just ladybugs and stink bugs, but I really don't like it. I don't want the stink bugs in here. And then if I walk away and my soda can's open and then I have to put something on it because I'm afraid they'll get in there and I'll like have a crunchy drink and I'll be like, Aah! Easter Isle, the Isle. That's how you say it, right? Easter Isle? On the Easter Isle. Now you have me questioning. All right, guys, hear me out. Let's, let's talk about this. Okay. Mm -mm. So, something I, I, I can't right now. Let's talk about this. Okay. I wrote a big thing on the community tab on my YouTube page, but I'm autistic now, what, Meg? 
I was thinking, I had three ideas so far, but my favorite one is Lydia from Beetlejuice, the animated series. And then I have Easter Isle of Man. And then, I don't know if y'all know who Ponderful is, but she recently did this whole thing about how, thank you. I have one vote for Lydia. I also put for her uh, Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service or Punky Brewster. I don't know why I put Punky Brewster, but it crossed my mind, so I wrote it down. Now, I think that um, if y'all y'all know who Ponderful is, Ponderfully T or whatever. Anyway, she did this. Uh, she did a video about breaking down how Ariel is actually autistic. And I was like, oh my god, because I stemmed off of that movie for years and still do. Um, so I was thinking I should do her as Ariel. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish all these before the show, but I'm going to try. Okay, the thought spot. These were my ideas. I don't know how much y'all know about Rainbow Bright, but there's one uh, that I thought of Violet. I like Indigo too, but, um, then I thought Xena, the warrior princess or Daria, the spinoff show from Beavis and Butthead to do her as Daria. <laughs> it makes me laugh. Or Chihiro from Spirited Away. And then I could put like Haku as the dragon with her. Um, or Wednesday Adams. And we're talking about the, the thought spot for that. Daria, we have, we have, <laughs> I'm all like, we have two votes for Daria. My stack over here. We have two votes for Daria. <laughs> um, mom on the spectrum. Wait, where's my list for her? Did I put a list for her? Oh my god, I have to look at my YouTube and find out what I wrote. What did I write? Something very long-winded. Oh lord. I wrote a lot today. Uh... Oh, Mom on the Spectrum, I put Elsa or Care Bears. I think she would look cute in a Care Bear one, Steve. I don't know, like, <laughs> for Care Bear ears. <laughs> ah, my brain. I need, I mean, I need help. I, I, I need ideas for that. Have any of y'all watched that guy, um, the YouTuber? He's, his handle is adult with autism. And he has a little bit of a different take. I think he, he speaks more to the, like, the trauma 
of being late diagnosed, like late 30s or early 40s or something, you know, being diagnosed later and, and like, and, um, I don't know, but some of the stuff he said really resonated with me. I just imagine playing hacky sack with him if we were like in school together. Okay, for Orion, and I actually didn't have any for a adult with autism. For Orion, I put 007. Indiana Jones or a Jedi. And I loved Indiana Jones. I love Indiana Jones. Uh, yeah, I love Indiana Jones. But yeah, I was a spinoff. Yeah, she talks like this. Hi, I'm Daria. Yeah. Nothing affects me. Her best friend is also like that. And then her sister's like, Hi, I'm a cheerleader! And she's like, good for you. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, Ryan. Double O. Give me that. Pew, pew. But like, give him like a Nerf gun or something. I think Indiana Jones. I just love Indiana Jones, but I don't know if he likes that. James Bond. Bond. Orion Bond. Oh, yeah, she is really annoying. Okay, my favorite Bond, okay guys, you know I'm going to have to say who it is, he's the best, and you can't convince me otherwise, Sean Connery, hi, I'm Sean Connery. Um, all right, so Orion Bond. Yes, that's what I was saying. Like a squirt gun, that would be funny. Okay, but that also, like, if it has stuff squirting out of it, then it could squirt out his name. But then also, I think people would take that the wrong way, maybe. Because I've done something like that before and people thought that it was an innuendo and I was just like, what are you talking about? Like, literally. And they're like, you know, it looks like, and I'm like, uh, totally not what I was trying to do. I was literally just trying to give them a, a water gun or splat. Uh... We could make him Goldfinger. <laughs> I hate Mike Myers. God. Have you ever just sat through like an entire show with someone and it's supposed to be a comedy and you're like literally not laughing on the outside or on the inside and you're just like the whole time like this is just annoying. Why do they think it's funny? I don't get it. Or like, I might even get what they're saying and I don't know why they think it's funny because it's just kind of obnoxious. No, I didn't. 
A blank one? Well then, Orion Bond. And I just really have to do Chloe Hayden, okay? But these are the three things that I thought of for Chloe Hayden. A hippie. <laughs> I know that's not really a thing. I could totally see her being a rainbow bright. But anyway, I put the last unicorn or like Princess Mononoke. But I just feel like she has such a flowery kind of, like, energy. I feel like, I don't know. Adam Sandler. Mm. Okay, I will explain. So... When I was growing up, and then uh, Jim Carrey came about, and I was like, you're not funny. You're annoying. The mask, I was like, so obnoxious. Also, like, cartoons that were, like, over-the-top obnoxious, like, Animaniacs, they, I would just, like, turn it off. I can't, I can't handle it. Like, I just can't handle it. Make it stop. Make it stop. I don't know if that's just me. Like, it was just too hyper. Couldn't deal with it. My stomach is growling. Well, I growl, you stomach. The way he talked in Waterboy was, like, yeah, it was torture. Also, like, um, those Mike Meyer movies, the, uh, Gold Finger, whatever those, like, 70s style, those were annoying. Or, or movies like, um... That make fun of a bunch of other movies, like Scary Movie. Or like that other, I can't remember the name of the movie, but um, they were making fun of, uh, in one, one scene they made fun of Forrest Gump. And they were like, run, florist! And I'm like... I hate it. Make it stop. Why? Why? Make it stop! I hate it! Also, I was, like, really susceptible to, like, uh, having nightmares and really bad, like, anxiety over movies like horror films especially anything paranormal like I really believed that stuff <laughs> hey Claire you made fun of Forrest Gump no why <laughs> I liked Forrest Gump Oh my gosh. Thanks, Claire. Um, I feel like I'm just doing something wrong. Like, I feel like this is so wrong. 
I'm just going to do Lady Rainicorn and, and then I'll go back to her after the fact. But when you have a reference photo and because to me, she slightly resembles other people, like part of her face makes me think of Lilo and part of her face makes me think of what's her doodle. Um, Oh my God. Fanning. Um, Dakota Fanning. And I'm like, no, something's wrong. Stop it. Okay. We're gonna, we're just gonna like ignore that and we're gonna move on um, and go back to it. That's what we're gonna do. And it'll be totally fine. Toots, my goats. I think like this is what, um, this is where like, I never really thought of myself as having, being a perfectionist till I saw that video like yesterday or the day before talking about perfectionism and how it's like really bad and I never really thought of that uh like not even starting something I can like do entire activities I can even like s spend an entire day week months um living an entire full life in my head just imagining it happening step by step and then never actually doing it. Um, and I think like the failure to start part, uh, in, in part of that is like that perfectionist thing. Like if I don't think I can do it like perfectly, I get so frustrated that I want to break my heart supplies. So but then I have to say, you know what? It's in your own artistic style. And you don't have to have the same style all the time. And your unique perspective and the way you do things, your signature style is perfect the way that it is. You don't have to do super hyper realism or have perfect straight lines. You can have a jaggedy looking scribble scrabble look if you want. If you want to do splattery and have um, under drawings not completely erased and coming through, that stuff's actually interesting. And it's totally fine. Imperfections actually make things unique and unique things are more valuable and we're all imperfect so we're all valuable so there i'm just gonna do it i'm just gonna do it we're gonna have we're gonna just start off with a circle and we're gonna bring that out to a triangle. And we're gonna have us a little banana. And then we're gonna do us a little moon. And then we're gonna do us some molten cheese. Whoop, whoop. Drip that queso down. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And remember, kids, there's no I can't, and I'm learning how to.
Lady rain a corn, come rain your corn on me. Lady rain a corn. Oh, 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 really? What the heck? Did you know, like, have you, I don't know, like, if everybody in this room has actually seen Adventure Time, but if you have seen Adventure Time, oh my gosh, I was watching so many seasons, and then one time, they actually had subtitles for her, and I was like, wait, could, I have been watching her in English subtitles this whole time and I, and now I need to know the answer now I need to know can are all of the episodes I need to let that dry stop overworking the area allow some space for it to dry it's gonna be okay go to the next color yes ma'am talking to myself oh 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 I don't know what you're doing, lady. You're having fun. Okay, there is something about... There's a one episode I hate on Adventure Time. Hate, 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 hate. Because I think he's so annoying and I can't stand it. And I wonder if everyone else has seen this show, if anyone feels the same way or differently than I do about it. But it's the James Baxter episode. <laughs> I don't even catch up on what she... Amen. Love it. No judgment. <laughs> Preach it. Amen. Heck yes. Uh oh. Ding skippies. Uh oh. He said it. Now we have to do the rap song. Peanut, 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 peanut butter and jelly. I spread it on the bread and put it in my belly. Dang skippy. Uh, for a hot second, I thought you were about to draw Trogdor. Draw the door. <laughs> uh, what? James Baxter was like this horse and he just kept like walking on this ball like throughout the whole show going James Baxter James Baxter James Baxter and I'm like stop it and then my ex was like stimming on that and just doing it and I feel like they, she was doing it just to annoy me. And I was like. <sighs> because they were laughing after doing it. I have 50 subs. Oh, wow. Cool. Thanks, guys. Yay. Wait, can I put my own hearts in the chat? Thank you. Thank you for being here. Wee. <laughs> yeah and i had to ha keep this energy up like 24 7 imagine trying to be a teacher <clears throat> hi i'm your teacher 
Teacher Katja, nice to meet you. Yes. Yeah, so. I like make fun of myself. Um, and I don't really know how to do it anymore. Because, I don't know, something broke inside of me whenever I had the, like, total, like, and utter burnout. I just, I can't. I cannot. I refuse. Touche. Touche, self. Uh, Safari. Cooperate. I need to know the colors just in case, so... Just in case, so. I don't like the way you did her colors. It's wrong. You didn't put orange. There's no orange. Oh my gosh. How did I not realize that there's no orange in her? Like, li literally. She does not have orange. How does she not have an orange in her rainbow? I can't unsee it. I can't unsee Lady Rainicorn's lack of orange. Did they do this on purpose? Did they do this on purpose because... Did they do it on purpose because Jake is her husband and Jake is orange? And he, like, completes her rainbow? Is that what they're trying to say? Like, we can't be complete people or something without the other person? And they were maybe just trying to complete it because they couldn't think of complementary colors instead? Well, actually, they did think of complementary colors because he's orange and then, like, Finn always wears blue. And those are complementary. Taste the goodness. I don't, I don't, I don't know where I heard that. Oh, no. Oh, God. I hate it. Uh, Claire, have you seen your painting? I haven't finished it yet. Um. Do, do, do. Wait. Do the thing. Do, do the thing. Yes! Please tell me you understand what it is you're reaching for on your back here. Please. Uh, be honest. I think, I think I, 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 I kind of did the overkill with the whole third eye thing, but, uh, I think it looks cool. Dude, that hand was, it is! <laughs> You're a warrior! <laughs> a warrior princess fairy knitter with cat fi- I don't know how to freaking do this. Where's the freaking camera coming from anyway? Like, I don't understand how to do this. Oh my god. There. Coffee. Uh, you have little fairy, um, fairy cats. I had a fairy cat over here, but I got rid of it because it was annoying me the way it was standing. So I had to redo it. And then I also had to put like your name in there and then I'll be done with this. Bling, bling, bling. I love it. But trust me, this one was just as frustrating at first as this one is being. <laughs> but then I finally get like a flow. But that's just how art is. It's like, just when you think that it's great. And then that's why I always take a picture also every time I, I'm, I'm, um, I get up or if I do any major change, I take a picture before and after. And, and so I have a series of like what the art is and and it has like a history to it and um i think it's pretty cool like that oh 
yeah, I think that you could totally rock that outfit. And I loved the green hair. I don't know if y'all noticed, but like I was trying to like wash all the color out of my hair for some reason. I just like got bored and now I just, I don't know. I look like what I look like, but the blue isn't coming out. But I, I, I'm like, can I just have the blonde back? I guess not. I guess we're just going to be whatever this color is trying to be here. You're welcome. Oh my God, it's going to bother me so much. Okay, it's totally fine. Just, it's fine. It's fine. Stop worrying about the lack of orange. Orange. Orange orange god i hate that word to this day i get corrected about that that specific word specific i hate there i have a few words i have issues with i do So is this what it's always like when you're like um, streaming? You just like basically are being uh, an exhibitionist. Isn't that kind of like the opposite of, <laughs> of what we actually like to be? Like, don't perceive me. Hey, perceive me. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so stupid. I'm not stupid. I just forgot. Sorry. I forgot to like show y'all what I was doing. Weird. Don't perceive me. <laughs> yeah. Did you notice the necklace on um, that I have uh, on your, on your, bleh, 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 on your painting is a, a needle. Okay, do you want to see the different sticker papers I have? Okay. So, we already saw um, this one because I, I printed one. Um, I don't know if everyone on here saw that open back up my magic box um this one is that paper so that's what that looks like um and i haven't tried the other ones yet but <clears throat> i think i wanted to see what the most complicated one looked like and i wanted to know if i could just print them myself with my inkjet printer and if it, it would smear and it didn't smear i was so excited yay all right so these are the different ones that came in this pack there's that one there's this one let me make it bigger so y'all can see there's this one Woo. It's doing circles because of the ring light, but basically wherever like light hits it, it's going to like leave rainbows. And then And then there's this one. There's this one. It's like a like more subtle, subtle one. But I just thought those were so fab. Fab! Which one did you like, Claire? The uh, last one?
show and yell my graphics design. Show and yell. This is the only time I ever get to just be loud and just be like, hi. And hopefully not annoy people. <laughs> Sorry, don't perceive me. <laughs> Sticker paper goes on the sticker paper shelf. As should all good sticker papers. Ow. So, yeah. So there. Um. Lady Rainicorn is not really a rainbow after all. She's missing a color, but that's okay, cause her friend Jake will help her make babies. I could watch autistic show and tell all day, run out of small talk, and then all of a sudden the autistic person says, have I ever showed you? And then they get excited and run and get it. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Total. Didn't I just say there's no orange and lady rainicorn? And here I am. With the orange. Now. My, my, my brain is, is, is kind of trying to have like a... a a short circuit or something because when you make a rainbow it has to go in the right order even if it doesn't start with red all the colors are supposed to land next to each other in the correct way of the spectrum even if it's a circle or whatever why is there no orange how can I just go straight no I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I can't. So do I follow the rules of Lady Rainicorn or do I follow the rules of the spectrum of the rainbow? I'm, 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 I'm having like, um, rule conflict or something <laughs> don't say sorry Okay, but then what if I put it in and then I... Mm. Okay, do not stem on your head. Don't stem on... See, so when I get frustrated, like, um, I have, like, these ticks like this. But then, like, when I get, like, really frustrated, I actually can hurt myself. So, I'm like... That's, that's when, um, the waffle cat comes in handy. <laughs> And also, why we got all these rainbow putties. <laughs> Yay! Well, actually, the putty, um, I found out when I, I was researching what kind of toys to get for different, like, um, unintentional self-harm, like, stems, because, like, I will bite my skin and then if someone's like, stop biting your fingers and stop biting your skin, um, the f immediately without even thinking about it, I just start biting my lips until my lips bleed and I hurt my mouth. Um, so to prevent that, I decided to do some research and it turns out stuff like, um, pop it, the like pop it things and like, uh, this really help. And I was using pacifiers to help me at night because it's especially when I would be sitting there trying to bite on my lips. But I recently, 
And I don't care. I don't care if it's for kids, okay? I don't care. Okay? So, if you care, I don't. FYI. Disclaimer, I'm not promoting this for your use. I'm just saying it's what I do. I had pacifiers, then I had like this uh, chewy one. And then um, I found out about like the chewies that are actually for oral um, motor skill stuff for kids that also do biting self-harm and stuff. And so I've tried all of these. My favorite one is this one. I like the 2B things and I like the different um, ends for different reasons, but I like these. Yes, I do. I like them. Um, yep. But also these can help. But, you know, you ever just try to do your stems and, you know, the person you're with knows that it's helping you and that you're, like, in a happy place doing it and that to prevent you from doing it, it's like going to be bad for you but like I'm being so conditioned that it's like I can literally sit there and like play with something like this while watching a movie with somebody but I just like get self-conscious that I'm going to annoy them or even if like any movement that they make I just have like this reaction but also um I can't differentiate between what part of that is trauma from just being like autistic and from being um uh from being a domestic violence survivor so Oh, look, it is now time. All of the yellows and greens are gone, and now it is the orange M&M's turn. I really hate how many blues they put in the almond M&M bags. Like, I know people say that the, all of the M&M's taste the same, but for me, like the blue ones have a weird chemical flavor like the blue dye i can taste it i don't know like if i it's just me i have saving info from adventure time wiki saving info i've totally just been like jibber jabbering and not reading oh yeah it is like opalescent it's pretty I think I just missed that one. Oh, I scrolled up too much. Orange, orange, orange. Okay, fine. But if I'm going to add orange, I'm also... Oh my gosh, I can't remember the name of that song, but I need to know. Oh my god, true door. It's hilarious.
that is not who that is. You're wrong, Google. Because that's not the name of the song. Those are the lyrics. What the heck? It's a very, like, obscure band. So I guess that's why. Hmm. Why can't I remember the name of the band? Don't you hate that? Like, when you want to share something with somebody and you know what it is, but as soon as you, as soon as you want to share it with someone, you can't remember. And it could be your middle name. And you just don't remember. Fine, I'll get over it. I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it go. Just let it go. Let it go, girl. Let it go. We're just gonna do it. It's only the end of the world again. if I like it. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like it. Um. Oh my god. You know what? It's totally fine. It is totally fine. You look beautiful in orange, girl. That is your color. It's totally your color. Your arms are weird. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be judgmental, Lady Rainicorn. But you do have weird arms. Be a rebel, splorge the orange. The way you, like, wrote Splorge made me think of, a uh, Spongle. If you want. Aw. Oh, Claire. <laughs> Don't retract what you said. Stay true. <laughs> Justice for Randicorn's special integrity. Oh, spectral. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's actually hilarious. And I'm eating the orange ones. Um, I'm working on Etsy stuff all week and I need a little break. Yay! I was like... been in a slummy kind of dismal like what did I even do this week kind of like thing how do y'all stand these bright lights in the videos God. despite being based on a rainbow Lady Rainicorn's body does not display any orange but in the animated short and the promotional art of Lady and Peebles she had orange on her body Huh. Thank you, random facts. I love random facts. Fidget cubes? Cool. Claire to the rescue. Ooh, orange and mineral. Oh, yeah, but I only like the almond ones and I eat them in a very specific way and I've done this since I was a kid and I don't know 
I'm, I'm trying not to do that on live stream with y'all because it's like weird, but like I'll suck off the, um, outer coating until it softens and then like basically breaks apart and then melts the chocolate and then peels the skin off the almond and eats that and then scrape the almond with my teeth until it's like nothing but a nub left. Is that weird? <laughs> and then I do that with every single one of them. Kill that perfectionism. <laughs> That's hilarious. I have LED lights right now. Um, we can change the color if we want to. Okay, so when I leave, I have to turn it to red because it takes the least amount of energy and cost is the most cost efficient color. Green is the middle one. It's also the Slytherin house color. Blue is the most calming color for me, but it also takes the most electricity. I also like purple, but I don't really like the purple on this one. I feel like it's not doing its job. Sometimes the yellow is nice. And it makes me think of my niece because that's her favorite color. You know what? The light orange yellow kind of glow is kind of nice. You like the dark blue? I got that one, that one, that one. Hold on. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to turn this off. Okay. Hey, Google, studio light off. Sure. Turning studio off. Okay, here we go. So... These are the colors. Red, orange, orange, yellow, orange, yellow. See how bright that is? Like this is the only light on in the room right now. Green. This is the green row. <laughs> green row, Rao Roy. Sorry, I, I, the way that sounded made me think of the Jetsons. Uh, blue. Woo! I like the blue because it makes anything that's neon like, look at that. Um, like, like my brain or like, um, my Luna Love good one like if I have it closer to the light but it like used like a lot of fluorescent colors in it so if this was like a true it on the video to me it doesn't look like as vibrant like it's like glowing to me Um, then we were on the blue row. Okay. Then, and then, and then, and then, and then we have white 
And then in the white row is like two pale pinks and two pale blues, I guess. All right, cast your vote. Which color would you like? <laughs> what do you love, Lauren? You will love it. Oh, yeah, I used to have some rope lights. TJ retracted a message. Oh my goodness. What was the message that was retracted, I wonder? Goddess of autism. Oh, isn't she the best? I love her so much. <laughs> I had this for being able to light my place in dim red for preserving my night vision when I'm coming inside to warm up when doing astronomy. What? Ah, I see what you mean. What helped you regulate all the colors? The purple before the white. This one. What's all kicking off now? What's kicking off? Dun, 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 dun. I used to teach art. And then I had a total meltdown <laughs> and I burned out and I said, you know what, people, I can't handle your BS anymore. Dun, 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 dun. I can't handle your hypocritical BS. I can't handle your hypocritical BS. <clears throat> um, I am early retired thanks to the um, amazing sponsorship that I have received for my dear friend. And that is how that is. And I don't even know how that happened. Honestly, guys. Eight months ago. I envisioned. A very detailed, dramatic way of leaving this world. And I was set to do it. Um, but then instead I got an opportunity and found someone that accepted me for me. And said, you can be here and just stare off into the wilderness for all of your days if you want. I won't ask you to change. And I'm like, well, sounds great. But you know what? That means I've had all these months... <laughs> to process all of the trauma that I have lived through. It's funny. 
as an expression, it's funny. Back in 2017 or 18, when I first started teaching, 2017, and I had got an actual good therapist because I had good insurance. Um, everything looks orange now. It's really weird. Um, she, that therapist told me I wasn't bipolar. She said, no, they're wrong. You are not bipolar. Um, you have CPTSD. And the, she was just a therapist and then had a doctor after that and, um, things just kept getting harder and harder. And I'm my whole life, like the whole point of me telling you about that specific therapist was she said, when did things start getting hard for you? And I, I kept like starting talking about a specific period of my life, but then I was like, wait before that, wait before that, wait before. So basically when I was born and, um, yeah, it's like that. Um, I was born different and it makes so much sense. Um, and I'm freaking terrified. I'm like, most of the time, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that I have self-diagnosed myself correctly. But I am getting a call this month to have an actual, like, legit um, evaluation. But I've waited years. I've been waiting. I've been waiting for a long time. And I'm not joking, guys. Like... When I say I've done my research, here's just the printed stuff. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let us start off with the good old DSM-5. And then I'll take you into test, traits, family history, etc., etc. Including funky pictures of my childhood. And my mom's like, no, I don't think you were autistic. You're just, you're just you. We just accept it, you. For, that's just how you are. <laughs> mom, why? I'm going to read y'all's comments. Roll Tide. Sounds like a kicking off now. I just hit send too soon. Oh, so Kata, did you say that you teach art? Oh yeah, we talked about that. So I'm not teaching right now, but um, I've considered um, teaching like the, the most fun I ever had was just teaching like uh, like an art place, like art center, not like a, a sip and chill kind of thing, but like you make up your own, my bangs are getting on my nerves. Oh, God, you're touching me. Stop touching me. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Teaching, teaching adults art is fun. I don't like any of the structure. I don't like doing the bells. I don't like the attitudes or the calls and the classroom management and the um, office politics, um, professionalism. I, I am the complete opposite of professionalism because that's just how I am. And even when I try to be, and I'm very sincere, and I try my best, and any kind of criticism I ever got, I would, like, 
go overboard in trying to correct it. I'm that person that literally researched how to take an, how to do an interview for hours and days. And I perfected the interview. What I haven't perfected is maintaining relationships. I can get a job. I can go in there and mask up and get the job. And then the mask starts crackling off like lead paint because um, it's toxic. (laughs) Thank you. Yeah, it is a lot to process. Wow. (laughs) Do y'all want to hear something so crazy? Okay, so after that therapist, the next year, I, I moved from one city to another in the same state to begin my life with my ex I hadn't seen in 20 years and ended up being abusive that I ran away from um, across the United States to be away from him and changed my name. So if you ever see my actual name, don't repeat it, please. Thanks. 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 Um, so I, um, what was I trying to say? Skirk, ADHD, Squirrel, squirrel. The ants come marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. Um. Okay, so then I went to this doctor and I was struggling and I was just like, you know, do you think that I, I have autism? And he's like, no, my psychiatrist. Like, literally, I asked the question and he said, no, no that's it. No. But, okay, so that was in 2018, 19. However, let's go back in time to, like, 2010, like, eight years before or whatever. 2009. Something like that. I, guys, guys, I, I got to tell y'all something. I have to tell you something. I got to plug this computer in before it dies, that's for sure. Ooh. So, I thought, well, maybe I, okay, I try to find the answer to myself everywhere. I looked in um, mental illnesses. I became a uh, I guess a uh, what's it called? A theologian like of like of my own accord. I just like tried on religions for years like I was literally a Hare Krishna guys seriously I was um yes I did that I did a lot of those things um I did a lot of it Uh, um and, and and what did I find out they um Government is religion and religion is government and everybody needs rules in order to like uh, function and be stable. And if that makes you feel better and makes you happy, um, then who am I to judge you for having your belief and that being the, the routine that you use and the, you know, whatever, as long as you're not hurting other people. Cool. Great. Um, I am no smarter than where I started in that aspect. 
I am just more confused than I was before. And then, um, this is the thing. I, I, uh, as one of the religions I was in was called AA. Yes, I was a friend of Bill. Um, and actually what I found funny enough was that was the closest, um, I ever got to feeling the presence of a celestial being in my life. Um, because they were so raw and truthful in those meetings. I am bringing this up for a reason. I'm going to head down the tunnel of how I found a, 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 a autism, how I learned what autism was. I was looking for a job. He, um, like in the meeting, heard me talking about needing a job and said, hey, um, you know, we're hiring and you don't need any experience. I don't know if I'm going to get emotional right now or not, but if I do, I'm sorry. And I'm sorry if this triggers anybody else because, um, how I found out what autism was. I took a job as an ABA therapist. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what autism was. And the worst part about the first job was that they did the Lavos style. And I worked there for a year. And I got sick every six weeks because they let sick kids come and they didn't clean very well. And they were just really like... It was very high stressful and they would want you to like use the no prompt and I kid you not, they made me practice this certain way of saying a demand. Come here. Come here. I didn't know. I was just following the rules. I was like, so autistic people need to hear you say it in a weird pitch to understand. Okay. I didn't know. But you want to know something? I worked in multiple clinics and in homes and I even did, um, outings. I worked with kids from 18 months old all the way up to 23 years old. Um, and I have seen hundreds of kids with autism and other diagnoses. And I felt like I was acting as a therapist the whole time, but I felt like, and, and I wouldn't tell anyone this because, um, I didn't want them to think I was weird or like fire me because I needed a job. I had kids and I, I didn't know what I was doing, but I just remember feeling like I understood the kids and I felt like 
I understood them more than I understood the people that were working in these places. Like, they made more sense to me than the other people did. And then, I couldn't handle it. I just felt like it was kind of torturous. It was dangerous for the therapist, but it, most of the time it was dangerous because you're forcing another human being to do something they don't want to do over and over and over again. And I literally was thinking, like this is so boring like I can't even stand this like of course they're gonna cry like of course they're gonna be upset and like I even would get in trouble for not like following those rules and you know like it's hard for me because like I want to do everything perfect but like Then I decided I'm, I'm not going to keep going this route. And there were some clinics that were better than others, but still, to be honest with you, it like, I never saw a place that actually cared about, they only ever cared about what the kid was interested in as a way to reward them to do the thing that that they wanted them to do. It was never about let's explore this as something that you can do as an adult later on. We can build on this thing to help you thrive as an adult someday. It was never that. That's what it should have been. That's what all schools should do. So I became an art teacher and then I didn't have one-on-one -on -one anymore with kids. Then I had to do a whole classroom. It was very overstimulating. It was just like too much stuff. And it got to a point where I started having meltdowns at work and literally screamed at another teacher. I was like, I need you. To I'm leaving. Um, I can't. I just started crying. She's like, what's the matter? You may call the nurse. One of the and I was like, get out of my face. Go away. And yeah, that didn't vote over very well, but uh, yeah. And also I have a problem with lying to kids. Like my students, I would just tell them the truth. And then they're like, that's inappropriate. And I'm like, how is the truth inappropriate? Um, so I just, it's, um, I like kids. Like I, I like them not all at once, but I like them. I just, um, Maybe I am inappropriate or maybe, uh, maybe like we're just being very clinical about it because kids used to like g leave the home as little kids as young as six years old and go off and like do apprenticeships, uh, and become masters of whatever their trade was, um, and leave the family home. I mean, that is what it used to be. Um, now it's like we put these bubbles around people and, I agree in some ways to bubbles and in other ways, like, you know, like, I feel like there needs to be like a permeable, like, membrane to this bubble, like, some things should be able to come in and out of the bubble, um, but anyway, I don't know if that made any sense. So, while I was working my second, fourth, fifth year, um, I was in an abusive relationship. Someone gaslit the crap out of me. Um, and you know what? The messed up thing is, is like, I still care about them. And I think that they're fucking autistic. 
And I think that they have experienced a lot of messed up stuff in their life and they tried to make me mask so hardcore because that's what they were doing and they were totally unhappy and um, I couldn't deal with it anymore. I couldn't. And, and I like isolate so much, like I can spend all day by myself, but then I'll miss people. But at the same time, I also can't handle being around a lot of people at once. I'm the person that's like, yay, party. Five minutes later, I'm hiding in the bathroom. Let me read what y'all are saying. Right, Cause I just kind of like word vomited on y'all. I told y'all we're going to paint. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm telling my life story and like uh, my trauma and like totally like dump on you. Sorry. Hey, Mr. Joe. Yeah, I know. Like, I do need to do that, but, um, Mike, uh, it took me a week to get back on the computer. And then when I did do that, it took me two hours to get the audio to work. <laughs> so I'm like, I will get there eventually. Also, for me, it's kind of like, um, I feel like I'm actually telling someone when I'm doing it live. Um, mm, and then it feels more like, uh, I'm doing my graduate, like, thesis sp speech if I have to record it first. And if you ever saw that, it could just be like how awkward I was doing it. Like, hi. My name is and <laughs> um, I mean, but the thing is, it's like, I don't think that I can ever unlove someone. Um, but I know now that that doesn't mean I have to stay. That doesn't get, just give people like free reign in my life if it's hurting me or if I'm hurting them. Um, you know? Thanks, Claire. And my kids are grown now. And part of what I've been having to, I'm gonna have to turn on one of these lights because every time I do the long blink, I keep seeing this like weird tracer thing. It's messing with me. Um. Ugh. Um, <laughs> Tales from the Crypt. Uh, yeah, and, and I sought out people that were unavailable and abusive. I sought that out, like, like that was my comfort zone. It's crazy. And also... I also sought out um, never allowing myself to be alone because I, I think it's because I was scared that if I was alone that I would stay alone. I think that's what it was. Um, but I wouldn't allow myself to have recharge time. Um, 
And lo and behold, that's where I thrive. I need it so much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wonder, like, I'm never going to watch these videos again other people can, or maybe I will. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I don't know, but I think that, um, as far as my lives go, I don't necessarily know if I want to use those per se to edit or not, but I'm like new here. So what the heck do I know? Do I need to reinvent the wheel or do I need to learn from others? Yeah, um, I just turned 45 last month. And I have a rare genetic thing where I don't get gray hair, apparently. Got it from my dad. But, um, my kids are 25 and 19, 20. It's like, I don't even like, I feel like, I feel like I came out of some kind of war or something, the war of my life. And I didn't know what I was doing and I did it all wrong. And I messed up my kids because I, I took all the meds they told me to take. I did the therapies and none of it worked. And I thought those moods, I was having a bipolar mood swings. They that's what they said I had. And, um, no, I was having, um, I was being triggered. I was having meltdowns. That's what the migraines were for. That's why... I just, I can't stand certain things. I have very heightened senses. Like I can smell like everything, unfortunately. I wish they would make a gadget that would like, like I can wear sunglasses. I can wear noise canceling headphones. I could put a jacket, take a jacket off. I could use an ice roller, but you know what I can't do? I can't breathe through my mouth because I can't stand the feeling of my nose being stuffed up. So like invent something for that, please. Yeah, I would have to edit it for four months. Like I, I don't know, like I do like making stuff like digitally and making it look cool and everything. But then, um, I don't think that I would uh, be able to produce at the same rate as the other people are making them. Like, I, I'm afraid that I would, like, fall into the whole, like, perfectionism thing. Um, but I, I just figured I'd, like, start off, like, this. look I'm not wearing makeup today either so when I have makeup on I don't know I, some days I feel like uh I feel left behind like everybody else got the boost pack in the game and I like I'm still using the copper pickaxe you know 
um, and I just upgrade it to iron and everybody else is using like platinum and magic and all this other stuff and I'm like what even is magic I you know it's not about me having like Like, I really only created this channel because I wanted to, like, basically say thank you to the creators that, um, that helped me because I haven't understood myself my whole life. And had I known that information when I was younger, um, I think everyone that was around me would have had a better time. Um, and I don't want anyone to ever feel the way that I felt. So... Yeah, so I wanted to say thank you. That's why. And and I'm alone here. Like, I know one person here. Um, I'm like, the airport's two hours away from me. Like, that's, I live in the mountains, you know? I'm like... far removed and it's weird like I've had to like re-look at my life like why do I have to drive what do I need to drive for I don't like going anywhere all right not driving anymore haven't driven six months and yeah I make art if I want to <laughs> but I, I am very inspired by people um, the first person that I saw um, uh, was Paige Lael um, and then I just like started like absorbing and that was like four, three or four years ago. And I bet I was like on a waiting list, um, in the last state I was in and I've been on a waiting list since I've been here. And, um, I talked to them two days ago. What's today? Wednesday. I talked to them yesterday and they said, um, that they are finalizing the schedule and they will be calling with the um with the appointment so <laughs> i have this fear like what if they what if they didn't deny that i'm autistic and then what like that that finally feeling like I belong, everything making sense to me. It's crazy that I can like talk in full sentences around y'all. Um, Part of the reason I haven't made any videos lately is because, um, I, um, I, I sometimes get a, like,
I have words in my head that won't come out or I can approximate what the video is in my head and translate it into a verbal language for people. And I have to rehearse that um, translation in my head before I say it out loud. I don't know if anyone else has this problem, but I think in video and um, I also talk to myself inside of my head. I am aware that I am aware that I am aware. Uh, Google, Google, one of us. What's a Google, Google? If you know, you know. I, um, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Except she is missing a color. She needs red. And then I died. And then we made magical unicorn manis. Uh, I have the Scooby-Doo theme song in my head right now. You got a mystery to solve, so Scooby-Doo, get ready for your rack. Don't fall back. And Scooby-Doo, if you come through, you know you'll have yourself a Scooby snack. That's a fact. Scooby-Dooby-Doo, where are you? One of us, one of us, girl ball grumble. Gobble, gobble. Wait, you're gonna gobble me like a turkey? I vote add the purple at the end. Oh. Like a purple butt? Oh yeah, purple. Oh my gosh, I forgot. How can one forget such, such how can one forget the purple? How? This. This is heresy. How dare you? I need. I got a purple butt, but I don't know why. All you other colors want to cry. <laughs> when I come in invisible, I give some rays. They're going to pray. They're going to lather on that lotion and say, hey, hey, UVs, you go away. Sorry. Sometimes I wrap really terrible stuff when I'm just being weird. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Why are you acting so weird? You're faking. Oh my god. Your mom's faking. Uh, so anybody else, was anybody else that kid that when they said mean things to them, 
like you're so blah 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 and then were you the kid that said actually the only reason that you're saying that to me right now is because you're insecure because you actually think that um if you don't act the way you think other people should act um like putting me down that they're going to start making fun of you instead um and you're scared to be out of the crowd so you're making fun of me but i you're not gonna hurt my feelings so leave me alone like did anyone ever just say like random factual stuff to people like why are you picking on me are you that bored you can't find anything else more pleasurable to do right now I'm funny. Thanks. I'm just being for real. Which I think is annoying to neurotypical people, honestly. But I did have some students that loved me, but then other students that hated me. Uh, yeah. I always hung out with people younger than me, I guess, or older than me. Uh, when I was a kid, older people, well, also, and the kids I would hang out with were young, I don't know, maybe I just, like, always act younger than I am, because why? Why so serious? think that you need legs. She got legs, you idiot. She sold her voice to the sea witch and got legs. Jeez, man. I knew that. Ariel's been turned into a human. She's going to make the prince fall in love. He's, he's, he's going to kiss her. And she's only got three days. Just look at her. On legs. On human legs. This is a disaster. What would your father say? I'll tell you what your father say. He say he's gonna kill himself a crab. That's what your father say. I'm gonna march myself straight home and tell him just like, and don't you shake your head at me, young lady. Maybe we can go back. Convince her to give you back your voice. And then go home and just be and just be neurotypical for the rest of your life she's got legs you idiot Whoa. legs uh is that weird I should have made her all twisty and I don't know why she looks more like Dakota Fanning to me than she does Paige Lael. What's going on here? Showtime. This is that face that Jim Carrey used to make that would freak me out. Also, have you gotten a hold of Jen Aspie? Wait, 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 wait. I need to go up. Scrolling on up to the read your chats. Give her some purples. Give her some purples. Subbed her. <laughs> Uh, I think everybody's a little autistic and I didn't have the heart to tell the dude he was the most blatant undiagnosed autistic I've ever seen. I don't know why I said it in that voice. <laughs> Whenever I go to the country to visit my folk, 
I always just talk just like them. I don't know why my kinfolk put that in me and I just don't know why. The first time I went up north and, and they, they found out I was from uh, Texas, they were like, oh, you're from Texas, so you're like a cowboy. And, and I'm like, yeehaw, howdy, how you doing? How you, would you like some sweet tea? I should be on the podcast. What podcast? That exactly what I do when I am comfortable or stressed. Kacha and friends and suggestions on who should be on my... Wait, what? Kacha and friends? And friends? Let me tell you about friends, Claire. Hold, please. Okay. Ding, ding, ding. You've reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. If you believe you've reached this recording in error, please hang up or dial the operator. This is a recording. Uh, did anyone else cry when Jane died? You know, the lady that did those recordings? Or am I just weird? Nope, nope, nope. Those are your only two options. Okay, fine, fine. We don't have to visit that. It's totally fine. It's acceptable. Come as you are, as you were. Fidgy friends! Hi! Do you like dolls and fidgeting too? Well, maybe fidgy friends are right for you. Hi! And no, I have never seen a commercial. I literally just made that up. Squish, squish, squish. And then her wings are like, um, like totes, 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 my goats. I really don't know where totes, my goats came from. Um, little pop of wings. And this is my favorite. Oh my God. Like, why? Okay, so there's this girl who is a YouTuber named X Canadinus or something. Anyway, her whole like thing is about dolls, and she like I don't know how she has so much money to like buy so many dolls, but that's like. She does not say that she's autistic on, on her, on her YouTube channel, but, um, I swear that's her special interest. Like, I swear, like, I almost want to do a painting of her too, but that, you know. All right, that, that was all I was going to show you. Oh no, I ran out of orange M&Ms. I must get some more. Why so many blue M&Ms? Come on, y'all need to stop it with the blue dye, guys. It's just disgusting. Claire, Katja, of course. What? Katja should be the podcast on the podcast. I don't know what's happening. Lauren Seacrest is a good idea. At well, oh. Also, have you gotten a hold of Jen Aspie? this is why i do the live is because if i'm just on here for a while and i just kind of like warm up and just start being myself like it it's easier than trying to like script it and like nah nah 
<laughs> Legit gets all of a sudden anxious. Oh, okay, bye, end stream. <laughs> Have I gotten a hold of Jen Aspie or are you talking to Claire? Maybe eventually she'll look at the chat and find out she's going to be on the podcast. <laughs> what freaking podcast? Uh, I need to see. Okay, I'm reading. In contact with Jenny, actually, for another reason. Start eight nine two seven. It's like I'm reading the freaking words and, like, not absorbing them right now. Like, what the heck is happening to my brain? <laughs> Pterodactyl. Actually, has anyone else played Ark? <laughs> Ark Survival. <laughs> Ark Evolved. <laughs> the Raptors. <laughs> okay, sorry. I won't Raptor y'all. <laughs> it becomes a tick and it actually starts to hurt my neck. Um, no pressure. I think it's not for everyone. It's like a lot of pressure. It's like totes, like loads of pressure. Like, I mean, it's totally fine. Um, but if you want me to come as I am, as I will, cause I am a weirdo, don't you know, I'll sing. Until it's freaking annoying. Oh, that one. I, I caught up finally. Listened by tens of tens of people. <laughs> so 100. Actually, if it's tens of of 10 would not be one but it's plural okay stop over analyzing i'm one of those tens of tens at least a hundred so 10 by 10 We represent the lollipop king. We welcome you to our autistic land. Um, I sang in front of 200 people before. just thought when I was a therapist behavior therapist ABA I there were certain things that took me years to stop like repeating in my head there was like this toy that was like you it was like a ball and it's like spin spin a number 
And, um, oh my God, it was even in my dreams. Uh, that this kid played with this thing. And I'm just like, is that normal? Like, do, like, do neurotypical people, like, get stuff like that stuck in their head for years? Like, it never goes away. Um, and when I worked in the office and I had to use DOS, I literally had dreams in DOS. Bam. So do y'all usually, um, now I'm doing the almond thing and I don't even care that you're watching. Um, do y'all do the, uh, like a skit or, or something for the podcast? Do y'all like talk about what it's going to be or do y'all just like fly by the seat of your pants like me? I guess my approach at life right now is worst face forward. Well, like, not meltdown face forward, but you know what I mean? Like, truthful face forward, kind of like. Night, Mike. Or wait, wait, who's leaving? Someone's leaving. Yeah. Uh, oh, you're leaving, TJ? Or is Mike leaving? Okay, Mike's leaving. I guess everyone's saying goodnight to Mike. On your next 10 hour stream. Yeah, Mike, when's your next stream, dude? I love your streams. I love your like marathon streams. Okay, I need to fix your beautiful face because you have a beautiful face and I don't know what I did to it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And you have no hand and you have no hand. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You have no freaking hand. Uh, why is she just like back there? Like, oh my god, uh, 
I could have made her into Lady Rainicorn. Why didn't I think of that? Why? Now I'm sad. Uh, I literally also bought Minecraft specifically to be on Mike's server as well. But I haven't built anything yet because I suck at it. <laughs> but I used to suck at Terraria and then I got really good at it. So I like building stuff. I just, um... I usually use like a contr Xbox controller and I play on PC, but, um, well, Terraria have to use mouse and keyboard, but I just feel like really weird. Uh, maybe it's cause it's a 3d game with mouse and keyboard and that's weird to me. But when it's like two, 2d like platformy, it like, I don't know, just, When it's three-dimensional, I feel like I need to be using the controller. Like, I don't know. Let's build stuff. I build stuff. You know, I don't just paint. I actually, like, I've made tables and I've sung in bands. I write poetry. I make jewelry. I Anything, basically, that you can, like, take something and turn into something else. Or if it's like I need something or I want something for something, I'm like, do I have, how can I use the materials that I have on hand to make that thing that I want? <laughs> Wait, is it worth it or should I just go to the dollar store and buy it? Like I have like this whole clunky thing of like um, boxes over here. Um, because I'm determined to build myself a one six scale dollhouse. Um, yeah, I just finished the actual thing. I did take a break from my art this week and I rebuilt my Harry Potter Legos. What shed theory? Hi, friends. I'm Claire, and this is my channel, What shed theory? Sorry, um, I stemmed on your song. Oops. I did it again. I sung your song. Got all in your game. Ooh, baby. I'm sorry, Lady Rainicorn, but I don't like your, your horn that smooth. I'm making it bumpy. I'm not in a good mood right now. You were door dashing and had a drunk dude get in your personal face and shove his phone with a screaming cat. Whoa. I can't imagine picture this in my head. You had a drunk dude get in your space and shove his phone with a screaming cat. Uh. That's weird. People are weird. People are strange. 
When you're a stranger, faces look ugly when you're alone. Drunk means seem wicked with their screaming cats. Just scream back that you're strange. Meow, 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 meow. Meow. Then he'll block off and be hey, 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 hey. Say, I'm strange. Yeah. I don't know. I would like totally I oh, know, it depends on how how I felt in the moment. I I guess like I might do something really weird back to them to throw them off or uh be frozen. Oh, sorry, I probably restuck that song back in your head. I'm sorry that happened, Lauren. I have a question um does anybody like that show the blacklist Okay, I'm just like, I really, really, really think that Reddington is autistic. Like, if I was a criminal, like, if I was like a gangster and I was a man, 
I feel like I would identify with him. He is amazing. And then I tried to watch, um, what's that other show that's like, but it's about CIA and the girl is blonde and, um, something, is it something theory? Uh... Hey Google broadcast. What's the message? What's the name of that show with the blonde CIA that is like a sillier version of The Blacklist? What's the name of that show again? Okay, broadcasting now. Oh, I love Homeland. Oh my God. Like, okay, I have loved Claire Danes since, um, um, my so-called life and she is amazing um I just love her so much and she's great covert affairs covert affairs so I try to watch that show covert affairs while watching blacklist when I say while I just mean like you know you can watch more than one series like I don't have to finish the complete series and but usually I am kind of like that but um like I can watch an entire like series like 10 seasons straight something <laughs> but anyway um Okay, so I try to watch Covert Affairs during the same time that I've been watching The Blacklist, and I got annoyed with her, and just like the, I don't know, it's like, they're, okay, first of all, her heels. Who the frig wears heels like that? Um... And it, and, and it would be fine if it was just one time, but she wore heels multiple times. And on top of that, they were the same ones. She's going to have more than one pair of heels, first of all. Second of all, if you are going to be out in the field, you're not going to be needing to wear those heels. And um, just no to the whole thing. I'm sorry. Maybe I'll give it another chance, but right now, uh, maybe it's because they're too close to, like, the same type of show and they have different, like, feels about them. I don't know what it is, but almost, like, feels like a mockery to the blacklist or something. I don't know how to explain it. It just, it, it, it doesn't take itself seriously. Okay, but that, the blind guy, I forget. I've only watched a few episodes, so it's like, I'm not giving it a, like a, like, you know, huge critique or anything. I'm just, um, I was just wondering if anyone else, like, has that problem, like, um, watching shows that are, like, a similar premise, but with different moods to them, I guess. Like, at the same time. And also, do, is it, it, like, do you ever cry when your show that you've been watching for seasons and seasons and seasons is over forever? Like, 
like you're never going to like find out more than what you already know because it's over. Uh, I'm using OBS. I'm not an expert at it. Um, like I said, it took me two hours to make the volume work. <laughs> but um, I have a MacBook and an Apple iPhone. And when I open OBS, it like, it links. So then... When you're um, in OBS, you will go to, um, like, the place where it says sources, and you add sources. So, like, and then that's how I got my desk thing on here. But the, um, the desk view actually is from the Mac, um, I think, Quick Player desk view um but i made it a source like i can make any window on my computer a source and share that on the screen i don't know i guess in a way it's a little bit somewhat like zoom i don't know i'm talking out of my I wish I could afford all of the Posca paint markers, like all of them, all the colors, and at least these one, two, three, at least these four sizes. I wish I could, but they are freaking expensive, guys. They're so expensive, but they're good. They're incomparable where did katja go i'm right here lauren something glitched i glitched oh you cried when star trek ended um i liked star trek um with Captain Picard of the Starship Enterprise. I didn't really like the other ones as much, but I also, I wonder sometimes if it's because, <laughs> I wonder if it's because I have a hard time with change. Like I really, get attached to those characters and then when they try to like do another show and it's like the same type it's like the same series but it's different characters and I'm like I can't it feels like a betrayal like it's not the same it hurts I don't know how to explain it but that's what it feels like Though I did like seven of nine. Um, I think that's why I can't watch. I'm sorry, I'm shaking everything. I, it's because I have to sit Indian style and then my feet go to sleep and then I have to move and I just have to keep moving my, my the way I'm sitting. I'm never like, okay. And I can't, I can't just sit with my feet on the floor. I can't stand it. I don't know why it's weird. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just like, oh, I really liked, uh, I think the Borg was interesting. And then like, um, the, which movie was it where, uh, where Data, um, got a skin and he had an emotion, emotions, um, and stuff, but he, when he actually got skin, you know, like my favorite thing is like dystopia actually. So, I'm going to be using this um, because, you see, I made a bubble. 
I'm going to be using this iridescent medium, but as a paint, um, to make a little sparkly bubble over here. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. First contact. Okay. I'll usually, this is interesting. So before I used to just listen to audiobooks all the time when I was painting. Okay. Um, and the thing is, is I tend to listen to the same few series over and over and over again. Like, and I will try out new ones and they'll either make the list or they won't. That they can get in the, uh. There, can you see? Kind of shimmery. Um, they either make the cut or they don't for the uh, the replay. But um, I have, and it matters. It really matters about a few things. I have to like the narrator's voice. Um. The story can be amazing, but if they get too hyped up and then, you know, like some voice actors, they start at a calm level and then they'll like get like more like this, but then some of them like go back down and go back up and, so, and then others, they just stay up here. And I'm like, I can't, you're giving me anxiety. So... Jim Dale um, is the voice actor for Harry Potter and I've actually sought him out for other books just because I like um, that he reads that way. Um, I, I just find it very soothing um, and comforting to listen to the same stories over and over. Even though, like, I like dystopian or, like, fantasy stuff. Like, I like Philip Pullman's, um, his Dark Materials, like, the books. Um, uh, the Hunger Games series, the books on audiobook. I list, uh, like, Harry Potter, Hunger Games... Twilight, his dark materials, um, and then some other stuff that probably y'all haven't heard of and they're all dystopian stuff, but I, just the ones that I named, um, like the Harry Potter, Hunger Games, and Twilight especially, oh yeah, and The Host, which is also another book by, um, Stephanie Myers who does, uh, Twilight, but it's totally not like Twilight at all. Um, and the movie to that sucked, by the way. I'm sorry. I like that actress, but like just they changed too much and the lighting, the sepia coloring and everything, it just was wrong. It was so wrong. But uh, I can listen to that audiobook a lot. I probably listened to the Harry Potter series like at least 50 times at this point it might be more like i'm just you know playing it safe but i yeah i don't know like i just get stuck on thank you i appreciate you not i don't appreciate you right now cats i don't appreciate you right now cats no did you go outside of the box again? Because it is wafting up in here. I'm being tortured. The cats are torturing me. Mm -mm. 
I'll be right back because I need to go check um, and see if they covered up uh, their deed because otherwise I'm going to be tortured. I'll be right back. Talk amongst yourselves. Um, come up with an idea of how I can fix her hand or if I should put like lollipop candies in the background or what I should do with her. I'll be right back.
I'm back. Still here. So what happened was they just didn't do anything wrong and I just have a super sensitive nose. Oh, did Lauren leave? Oh, good night, Lauren. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Hey, Claire. Um, yeah. I was gonna say something. Oh, yeah. Claire, you said that you wanted to see my hair is just doing some weird thing. Like, I don't understand what's happening. Um, you said you wanted to see my studio. Um, do you like labyrinth? It's kind of like what my other area is like over there. If I if I change to this on top, I can show you. No, I think you did say that in like a comment. This is going to be weird because I'm not going to be able to see what you're seeing, um, but I'm going to just try to slowly walk around and show you what it's like up here. And it is not finished and it is like still messy, so don't judge me. All right, I'm about to flip the camera around and show you my desk. Ready? Whoa. So I just hung this today. I um moved the desk was over here. But this hidey hole is full of all kinds of stuff. Like I just can't see in there right now, but um I have like skylight that I had open today the sun was coming right in my face so I had to cover everything over it but um like I have little like kind of a little potion -y area and stuff just like little collectible things there's like all this is actually my, I just set this up for y'all, but this is like my sew, sewing area. And this whole thing is full of fabric and everything over here is like full of fabric and all that sewing stuff. And then I have like all of these things organized with different types of like art materials. And then here's some of the um, artwork that's gonna be in the exhibition. And then if i go over here i have like this little area that i don't have lit up right now my creepy doll stuff um but i have a whole nother area over here that is like i'm not done organizing but this is going to be a dollhouse um it's like my little loungy area now you can see some of my like glow glowing artwork this was my uh celtic goddess series um and over here this is like my labyrinth stuff all these are like labyrinth i had a labyrinth themed room um in my last time here's some more like this is like my oil painting area like all my like 
high-end oils and brushes and stuff. And then I have like some cool stuff. And then I have um, <clears throat> a door that I made to keep this kitties out. Say hi, Artemis. Missy. And my trash that needs to leave. And then I have my like apothecary that I put here because otherwise they would just be able to jump up and get in. So I makeshift my, this weird thing. Yeah. On my guitars, and this is still just disorganized, but you know, stuff and things. Yeah. And my mess. And my stuff and things. And there you go. Quick little tour. I hope that. Uh, you could see what I was showing you because I could not see what I was showing you. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what did we want? What do we want? When do we want it? Uh, what is it called? Is it this one? <laughs> now I'm trying to figure out where the, uh, no, no. Okay, I'm seriously confused. Um, what is this thing called? Okay, that one. And then... That one. And then that... There we go, I did it! I'm so... <sighs> okay, I feel so proud of myself. I'm about the way. Good job! An owl hooting. Sorry. <clears throat> what did we say for Meg? We're going to do. We're gonna make her like Lydia. First, let me find. Okay, <clears throat> jeez, I'm sorry. I'm like the klitziest person. So like she has different outfits. Um, she has like, like that look. And then she has this like thing that she always would wear. Oh, yeah, we have bears. <laughs> bears. You're seeing two of me? Oh, 
Oh, it's okay. I'm trying to figure out. Uh. <laughs> oh, I like that outfit. Oh, so she's so cute there. I not, I gotta use this one. You know, especially like since I'm not gonna be able to show the whole thing because I've been having them zoomed in. Instead of like um Beetlejuice with her, should I give her like a cat or something that's like his colors, like striped or something maybe? Perpetually late drummer. Has anyone ever seen Metalocalypse? Let me guess what the trequel would be. Trequel. Is that is that a is that a word? Trequel. Or is it a second sequel? Or is it the stir third installation? Good night, Claire. Yeah. <clears throat> I was just thinking of like, um, like how, how they portray like, um, the bass player is so on point. Good night, TJ. Thank you. Thank y'all for coming. Yeah, I thought Daniel was still here because he uh, just said we can use hockey terms and call it the hatch. I don't get it. Or watch too. You know what I hate? Like, if I want, like, the very last letters of what you said, I have to wait for someone to say something because the heart covers it. Yes, I do think that I I like this this image. Save it just in case I lose it because I like that outfit.
I just love seeing other people's, like, um, renditions of characters and, like, their own style. It's, like, really cool. <laughs> Girl, we gotta change your face. Jail. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah, I also wonder if uh, Johnny Depp is. Do you know he specifically curated? Um, the shows he would do to not be like like he would only take like interesting weird roles What color is a bubble wand? What color is it? Is it red? Is it yellow? Oh, I see your collection. If your father knew about this place, you're not gonna tell him, are ya? What color, what color, what color? Debt might be at least mildly. Um, did y'all know that he's a visual artist also? I've got to fix her. I have to fix your face. Los locos kick your into outer space. Yellow? I say I'm painting, but like, really, is this painting? It's not really painting, guys. But I'm slowly moving myself back into painting. I honestly felt like I lost my ability to, I, I was scared that I regressed my skills to be able to paint. I was so terrified. 
Oh my gosh, get on the fork and stay. Is it weird that I'm eating pretzels with a fork? How long have I been on here? Are you kidding? Is that the real time? It says four hours and 29 minutes. Four hours and 30 minutes. I've been on a live stream for four and a half hours. Is that for real? You know, I should probably end this stream because I haven't used the bathroom this whole time and that's probably not good. And, um, I need to take my medicine and that's crazy. And I really appreciate y'all coming and staying here with me for four and a half hours. That's awesome. But like, I literally have no concept of time going by when I'm doing something that I enjoy. It's really weird. <laughs> Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Hee <laughs> hee. Oops. <laughs> well, thanks for coming and um, spending time with me, boys and girls, and um, my furry little friends. Uh, um, I don't know, like, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to feel out, like, a, a close, closing statement here. <clears throat> Thank you for stopping by. Remember to keep your pencils sharpened and your minds colorful.